My name is Olivia Gracchetta, and I'm the author of The Girl That Death Left Behind. I recommend this book because it teaches about family and how you should treat them. Like you never know what's going to happen. They can be in a car crash, or they can be sick with some really fatal disease. Either way, they may never make it out. So even if out of all those words of anger, you shouldn't be like that. You should just treat them how you should be treated, and that's why I recommend this book. So in the story, there's a girl named Beth. She and her family have an annual picnic every single year. So her parents go to the annual picnic with their two siblings, a sister named Allison and a brother named Doug. Beth stays home because she has the flu. So while her parents are gone, Beth goes to bed. She later wakes up with two policemen standing and her family is in the hospital. When Beth arrives at the hospital, the hospice won't let her see her family. They say she needs a family member. So Beth goes and calls her aunt in Tampa, Florida. And her aunt comes 30 minutes later. By the way, Beth lives in Chattanooga, Tennessee. When Beth's aunt, Camille, arrives, the hospital tells her that her family is dead. They all died in a car crash. She's wake, woken up in her bed. She walks out of her room and she finds her aunt and cousin, Terry, packing clothes. They say that the realtor said that they only have a week to get out, so Beth has to live with Aunt Camille in Tampa, Florida. So when Beth is in Tampa, Florida, her cousin Terry invites her to a party, and Beth sits in the back of the tree during the whole party. Then this one kid named Jared Harrison comes up and starts to cheer Beth up. One day, Beth meets a girl named Sloane at school. Sloane is putting her sleeping bag in the girl's bathroom because she's deciding to crash at school, even though it's over the Thanksgiving holiday. So after school, Beth sees that Sloane is getting into trouble. So she goes to Sloane and, and to the teacher and tells the teacher that Sloane is coming with her. And that's why her stuff was in the girl's bathroom. Sloane thanks Beth a lot for letting her sleep over there and letting her not get in trouble. So Anne has orange reddish hair into long spikes. Kind of weird. She dresses in black cloth. And one day when Carl, So Anne's boyfriend, comes to pick her up, Beth tells Carl that she really wanted to go and see her house. So Carl says, sure, I'll take you. And he takes her for the 10 hour drive to Chattanooga. Parents are gone for the weekend because they're at some hotel. Thing. And Beth begs Terry not to tell them that she left. So Terry keeps her word and tell, doesn't tell him. When Terry's parents come, they are really mad at Terry for not telling them, but they all go to Beth to pick her up. Beth is okay. They all take her back. Later, they take Beth to the graveside and everything is all better. Every